Hello everyone and welcome to a new series. This one's going to be on WebAssembly. So this was a user request actually and then I started to look into it and it was actually pretty goddamn cool. Um, so I've written a little bit of code on my own. I've gone through a little bit of tutorials, uh, a couple tutorials and I this is going to be something really cool to to make into a series or even create several projects. Um, but enough about that. What is WebAssembly? Well, it is, I mean, you can read it here, but WebAssembly is essentially assembly for browsers. So the way browsers work with JavaScript is that there's so much abstraction um, between running JavaScript and the actual CPU. So you'll notice this. If you try to access local files with JavaScript, you need permissions, and sometimes you can't even do it. Um, but with WebAssembly, you're essentially going to write code in C or Rust or something like that. And you can compile it into a form that looks a lot like assembly. And then this assembly will then be read by JavaScript and run on the browser. But it's also going to be run uh, at a much lower level than JavaScript is. So you're going to be able to harness the raw power of the CPU and you're, it's going to allow you to run code much faster uh, than if you were running everything with JavaScript. So today we're going, just going to go through the installation. It's a real simple install. It's just a single Git repository. And then we are going to create our first project and um, yeah, we'll go from there. So we'll start in our command prompt and uh, it's just going to be the clone command is Git clone https colon slash slash github.com slash m scripten dash core so we're not gonna this doesn't look like WebAssembly, but essentially m scripten core is just uh oh it's it's our compiler for c it's going to be a, a compiler that instead of translating c into uh, a binary file or an object file like gcc does mscripting core translates it into WebAssembly code or wasm so it's mscripting core slash emsdk.git so it's going to clone there and then we can go into that directory so cdemsdk and then we're just going to pull so git pull to make sure that we have the latest stuff and also this will allow us to keep up to date with the library very easily and then we're going to essentially install the latest SDK. So EMSDK install latest. And this just sets up the library files on our computer. Once the installation is finished, you want to go ahead and locate that directory. So for me, it was this one, copy it, go to your environment variables, which is just a search away on the Windows search bar. Go to your system variables, find path, hit edit, Scroll all the way down, click new, paste that in, click OK, click OK, click OK. And then you want to open up a new command prompt. And we're going to go find a, just an empty directory where we're going to house the project. So for me, it's dot dot slash source slash web assembly tutorial slash hello world. And then we're going to say emsdk activate. And this will just activate uh, the environment for this uh, this current batch session. So you have to run that command every time you open up a new command prompt. I tried doing the permanent, but it hasn't really worked, but I'm just gonna keep running it every time. Um, but that's gonna be something that you will see throughout this. But that, that essentially just sets up the environment variables so that we can actually run mscript. Um, so just to verify that it worked, we can just hit the command emcc-v, so this just gets the version uh, as you do once you want to verify an installation. And we're going to start by, uh, we're going to go into this directory and create a new file called hello world.c. And in it, you know, let's just do a, a quick hello world. I don't want to install those. So we'll just do printf hello world and return zero. Okay. And then, so this is our C file. Um, let's, let's just go ahead and, and, and uh, compile this using emcc. So the command is going to be 
emcc hello world uh, i believe it was that just like that and you'll see it'll have that there might run a couple other things but if you look in the directory you now have an a.out.js and an a.out.wasm so these two files here well the wasm file is your binary file it's the object file you can't view it right now but if you were to go to wasm to what i'll put a link down then in the description you can take your wasm file drag it in and this converts it into a form that looks a lot like assembly so it's hello world but um it's a it's very long and you're probably wondering why well it's has the standard io and include so it has to define what printf means has to define a lot of other stuff let's try doing just a uh, return three plus four or just return yeah three plus four without the include and then let's run the same emcc command and let's now so we have our aout.wasm let's go back to the website drag this in and it's a lot shorter it's still pretty long but um, it's a lot shorter right now so let's go back to the printf version okay and then we'll recompile and these now we have the js file which is essentially our wrapper uh, that we can use to communicate with the wasm file so we're going to go ahead and create a an html file so i'll call this a.out.html and we'll do a pretty standard template so doc type html html we'll do head title is going to be hello webassembly and then we'll do a body and in the body we're going to include the script so it's just going to be script source is equal to a.out.js and you can only have this script tag once you can't have it in both the head and the body that will give you some overflow errors um, so let's go ahead and uh, then let's go live so we're going to host this and you see nothing here um, so the reason why we have to host it is again um, JavaScript is going to try and access our files and it can't do that locally it needs to do it through a server um, but we'll go to inspect we'll do the console and you look right here hello world I'll try and zoom in for you guys yeah right there so this is what we got from the C file and you can see I, I'm gonna go to um, the JS file and I guess this is what it called but that's what the wasm file called and this is i guess this is the also the text representation which is cool i didn't know you could find that in there um but yeah so that's pretty much all you have there this is just live server stuff um, but we'll go back to the the console so yeah this is our hello world don't worry about the 404 that's just an icon so it doesn't matter for us um so yeah let's also try and if you have node installed you can just run node dash v just to see what version you have and if you do you can keep going if not then don't worry about it so you can say node a dot out dot js and you'll get the same exact thing in the console so let's compare this to running or compiling our object or hello world with gcc so gcc hello world dot c and I believe, I forget what that generates, it generates an executable. So we just run a.exe and we get the same thing. So right now, GCC and EMCC are the exact same, except EMCC wraps it so that you can use it in JavaScript. And it wraps it in a way that JavaScript will be able to call it. Uh, so you can then invoke these functions from your HTML file. So that's the first video installation and introduction. Um, I will be posting a couple videos in the next couple days or next week or so on library files compiling and exporting functions doing a whole bunch of stuff and then we'll probably get into a product at, project at some point um, but yeah so that is an introduction and installation of mscript and webassembly hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys next time